Hello, everybody. Hi, happy Tuesday. Welcome to my video. Um, today we are going to do legs. So I am actually going to use resistance bands today. Um, if you have some of these, it would be best, you know, to um, use them. If you do, I really love them. I'm using the heavy ones for today. And um, actually, I'll keep them down here because we're going to open and close. There we go. And, um, and, uh, but they're very, I, I mean, if you're allergic to latex, obviously maybe don't get them because I do believe there's latex in them. I'm not allergic to latex. Um, and, uh, but I really like them. They're cheap. They're only like seven bucks for the whole set. And they go all the way up to double extra heavy. And, um, which I, I like the double extra heavy too, especially like when I'm doing like, uh, squats and stuff. I like to use those, but I'm using the heavy today. Um, oh, and today is try me and see Tuesday. So to people who first and foremost, let me, let me start all the way over. I promised I would give a shout out to my friend Tracy. She is also known as Starry Nights on Roblox. Trace, I love playing Spider with you, and I am so glad that we met and we are friends. And I told her I would give her a shout out. And on that note, um, the, where where the title of my video comes into play, the try me and see, hey self, and the try me and see is you know um, it's been brought to my attention that there are people who like to bully other people. Now, you can, you can call me a bitch, that's fine. I'll own that title. Some people may even say I'm an asshole. Again, that's fine. But one thing I am not is a damn bully, okay? And I don't take kindly to bullying other people to make yourself feel better because I bet you won't try me and try to bully me. See what I mean? You, you, you'll run that mouth, but you sure as hell won't. You won't try me, though, will you? So anyway, um, so to, 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 ever, who, to whomever, needs to see this video and needs to see that or hear that, then that, that's great. I mean, but you know whether or not you bully people. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know that. I mean, there, you know, there's no, there's no reason for all that nonsense. Nobody has time for that. You teach children in elementary school not to bully other people, okay? My nephew is six, and he knows not to bully people and not to put up with bullies either. So why would grown adults be doing that? Just that, you know. A little, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. Okay. Anyways, let's get into our position on the mat. I'm just gonna put my hand on my. Ooh, my ribs hurt right now today. I'm just gonna put my. Oh, I might need to. Put, I might need to put these a little higher up. Okay. So they, they should be like right around like your knees, a little lower than your knees, and we're just gonna lift and lower. Oh wait, I gotta start my timer. I didn't start it. We're gonna lift and lower. That noise is annoying. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's annoying. So just lift. Lift those legs wide. I love this exercise. I know that I use it a lot, but it is so good for the outer thighs, and it won't give you big old thunder thighs either. It's just right here. It isolates right here and in the butt. I love it because it's so good for cellulite. Now, some of us just are going to have cellulite. You know, I mean, I'm just, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. And I work out, too, and I hate my backside. My backside is my worst feature on my whole body. It is gross. Like, I hate it. So I do work it out to try to like make it look better, you know, I mean, I try, but there's only so much I can do. So now for this, I'm not going to lower my legs all the way. My knees, like usually I'll let my knees touch. I'm not doing that with this resistance band because I want to keep that resistance. Okay. So you just like let it, you know, let it relax a little bit and then you go right back in. Okay. Um, and then after a minute, there we go, then we're going to repeat the timer and we're going to stick our foot straight out and then we're going to do with the same thing again, but turn your toe to the ground. I really like this exercise. I know it hurts and I know I've done it several times, but it's really so good. I mean, it really is. And you know who I actually got this workout from? My mom used to do a workout when I was a kid called Margaret Richards Body Electric. And Margaret, I, I'm pretty sure she's still living and everything and still doing workouts. She is who I got that the knee lift from. And then this, I started just trying things out and trying different things to see. And so I started, I started like, because if you turn your toe up, it works your quad. And then if you turn it down, it, your toe down, it keeps it in that outer thigh. So you could, I used to just like lift, turn it up like this too. And then if you put, keep it pointed up, you'll feel it only in your quad. But I don't like really big, bulky quads. Hey, kitty. Love you. Do you have naked legs? Do you have naked legs? That's her, naked kitty. All right, now 
I'm going to stop the timer and then I'm going to dose over. You working out or what? Huh? You working out? Huh? She said, nope, no thanks. I love this damn thing too. I love this thing, man. All right, now, bubble leg. Ooh, my deodorant smells nice. At least I know I'm not musty, you know. And in the, in the grand scheme of things, at least you know your armpits be smelling good. That's true story. Because I, I'm not... I'm not ever too proud to check mine. I mean, true story, man. Because you know people complain. Luckily, I work at a place where people don't really complain about like smelly good stuff. Um, there's one person I work with who's a sensitive Sally and she's real sensitive to a lot of things. And, um, but uh, like, I've never been told by upper management or like by the owner of the place I work at to not wear like perfume or anything like that. And I don't wear perfume body spray now. I don't wear it as much because I quit smoking, but I do still wear it from time to time. I like to smell good. And I like to be, you know, the person that everybody says smells good. You know, I mean, smelling good's a big thing because where I used to work at, um, people, nobody said anything when I worked at my last place in Illinois. But when I worked in Virginia, I will say that a bunch of people, make sure I started that. Okay, we can start with the toe pointed up to get a little bit of the quad, and then we'll switch it. But when I lived in Virginia, people used to go complain to upper management about other people and the way they smell. And I'm like, dude, but there are people who are now turn that toe down. There are people up in here with such bad BO, and it's like, but we're supposed to, that smells better than, than I mean, so your musty armpits smell better then, then like aftershave or, or cologne, no. I don't even care if cologne makes you nauseated or whatever, that's better than BO, dude. BO's is effing horrible. That's gross. And then it's like, how do you not smell your own self? Like, how do you not smell that on yourself, you know? I mean, and I know there's people who have like an issue with like sweating, dude, you know that, but you can get Botox for that. And your doctor, it can it'll be covered on your insurance. True story. All right. Woo, that hurts. God, my butt cheeks, bro. Now we're gonna get a bit, get up in this. You already know how I do. I'm gonna put this above my knees now because I'm going to want, I'm going to want to keep this resistance. I love a good glute bridge. Certainly do. So now we're gonna start this for one minute, and we're gonna open. I'm gonna open my legs as wide as I can. Ladies, don't act like you don't know how to open them legs, man. True story. Guys, I don't know how if y'all are doing the video, but. I mean, you know, if, if you are doing the workout, that's fine. If you're just watching me to laugh at me or whatever, that's fine too. But most of my, obviously I am a woman, so my workouts are targeted to women, of course, and for women because I'm a woman. And I'm not looking for bulk. That's not what I'm looking for. But we are looking for tone. And I'll tell you, ladies, you don't have a problem spreading them legs though when the ding -a is involved. And I've said that before, and you know it's true, though. True story. Okay? Y'all's asses will be damn contortionist and shit at, at, when it comes to a ding -a All right? I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. Keep Make sure you check and make sure you tighten up down. This is really, really good, this workout. It's really good. It really targets the glutes. I'm going to repeat that, and I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to do this one for two minutes because it's not painful. I don't think it is anyway, but it's really good. It targets the glutes without making the thighs bulky. That's the thing is it is very hard to get, like, worked out in perky glutes without making your thighs look like a damn, I, I, like a Mack truck, you know. And I'm like, I don't like that look. I know some women do, but that's part of the reason why I have never trained to do like figure competition or whatever, like the, like the fit like the bodybuilding ones, because I don't want my legs to be like that, you know. And I mean, more power to the women who do it. I know it takes a lot of discipline, but I'm just like, I, if that's not my thing, yeah, at all, you know. And it's like, I mean, I would maybe, I would maybe train to do one one day, but I mean, I don't know. I just, you know, it's just, it's not my thing. And now I'm getting too old. Now I'm too old for any of that shit. Woo, all right. Woo, that hurts. Now we can take off. Woo, and then butt cheeks are hurt. And I just kind of pull my knees to my chest like this. But 
boy, that hurts, man. And the best, the best thing for to, to, I don't even really like to stretch, but you kind of just sit into that, that the glute you just worked. So really, you should be probably do it after each one. But I'm not really a big stretcher, and I'm sweating. See, it makes you sweat too. Can't help it, man. Um, so anyway, that's my workout for today. I'm sorry I did not make one yesterday. I was not feeling the greatest. And um, I wanted to just relax on my day off. So I'll probably make another one of these either Thursday or Friday. And then so I'm probably just, I know I was doing it three times a week. I'm probably going to go back to only doing it one twice a week. Like on maybe like Mondays and Fridays or Tuesdays and Fridays or something. Um, because uh, I, my schedule is a little different now, but I'm an hour ahead of most of the people I know who watch these. Uh, I'm an hour ahead of you. And so it's like, I'm, you know, um, and, I mean, because most of my friends and family are on Central Time, and y'all know I be hating Eastern Time. We're on a true story. But, um, you know, anyways, I hope y'all have a great week, a great rest of the week. I know it sucks, and it's still the beginning of the week, but hopefully this helps to get you through a little, a little more. Um, and uh, we'll have nice butt cheeks and thighs, too, by the end of it. So um, I will see you guys later, okay? All right, bye.